a Data East power supply for um, DMD style games. And this is the one I rolled in some pictures the great arch of Zener there at D10, which I have replaced with the proper part of 1N 4743. And I am going to leave this one here. This should be a 15031, but I looked up the part number on this and I hate to ruin this creativity and really not gain anything. I've replaced these three ca capacitors that you see in the center of the image right now. C2 had corroded, as you can see in the original or the picture I rolled in, and it damaged a trace between C2 and D2, so it's jumpered on the back also. I have didn't replace any headers because they looked really good. I did, um, what else did I do? Oh, I checked the fuse clips, and they're all good too. So let's power on. You can see our GI. Four strands are working properly, and this tests the GI relay working properly. So let's get some voltage readings from my Fluke 179. If I can get my hands untangled here, here's the minus 12. The 5 volts, 12 volts. And here I'm going to test the high voltages, and I've got that connector on there to keep myself from shorting any of the high voltages together. It was 96, that's uh, normally about minus 100, and minus 118. Now, why aren't those 12 volts apart like they're supposed to be? Well, it's because the power supplies, supply is not loaded at this time, and they will be 12 volts apart with a DMD attached to it, so few more voltages to test over here at test five on this header oops i missed it i'm not far enough over there it is so this power supply along with a ppp board that came in for repair are heading back to the client thank you so much for sending it